Hey guys, what's up? DJ's Aviation. Welcome to another video in my Aviation News series. Today we'll be discussing the future of the Boeing 747-400. With the retirement of these jets imminent, even though their future is pretty much predetermined, this was a requested video and I also thought it would be a fun one to make, especially with some of the 747s and 747Fs still having the capability to fly for at least another decade. Uh, the first airline we begin with is Delta, who just a few days ago flew their last Boeing 747 filled with employees and customers from its Detroit hub to Boeing's plant in Everett, Washington. This is the first in a series of farewell flights to Delta's hub this week, marking the end of the airline as US passenger services. For those aboard, it was a rare opportunity to touch down on the same runway from which the first 747 lifted skyward on February 9th, 1969. On the ground, Boeing's workers who helped build the 747-400s, like the returning Delta plane, celebrated an aviation milestone. The aircraft will ferry NFL and college football teams in late December, before making a final ferry flight to the desert in January. A quote used to accurately describe the 747 is, it was a plane that shrank the world. That is the legacy of the 747. Moving on to our next airline, that being of Qantas. Qantas, during the halfway point of 2017, stored its very first Boeing 747-400, that being the registration of VHOJM, which is their oldest. The aircraft was delivered to them in September of 1991, with the order of the Boeing 7879s and delivery of the first two, VHZNA and VHZNB, Qantas has already set out a plan of retirement for their Boeing 747 aircraft. By the middle of 2018, when Qantas expects to have four Dreamliners in its hangars, its two oldest Boeing 747s, one which arrived in 1991 and the other in 1998, will be put out of service, the first already being stored. By mid-2019, with a total of eight Boeing 787s in Qantas stripes, Three more red-tailed Boeing 747s will have made their final flight. KLM is our next airline we focus in on. KLM plan on retiring all their Boeing 747 400s before 2021, with some already having disappeared from their fleet. Despite this, KLM Cargo still have three of the Boeing 747-400 ERF. KLM previously operated the 747-200 and 747-300. However, they do not have any of the newly constructed 747-8 Intercontinentals and have not placed any orders for them. They are in a similar boat to Qantas, opting for a new revolutionary fleet of single-decker aircraft, with 10 of the new Boeing 787-10s having already been delivered, with five remaining and six of the larger 78710s to be delivered from 2020 onwards to further act as a replacement for the 747. Our final airline of the day is British Airways. Even though British Airways have recently been getting a lot of criticism, they will always have a special place within me, especially their Boeing 747s. Flight Global's IAG Chief Financial Officer said that British Airways plans to retire their fleet of Boeing 747s by February of 2024. 24 of the Boeing 747s will be retired through 2022 and the remaining 12 aircraft will leave the carrier's fleet in the following two years. As it stands, in addition to the 747s, the airline has a long-haul fleet considering of 777s, 787s and A380s. These three aircraft are among over 70 on order, says the airline, including 18 A350-1000s and 17 Boeing 787s, plus 25 A320neos and 10 A321neos. British Airways CFO claims that the more modern aircraft are 30% more efficient than the 747s, and that should lead to roughly a 200 million USD annual fuel benefit within the next five years. Also, this year alone, Eva Air, United Airlines, and Garuda Indonesia have all retired their Boeing 747s, and as mentioned before, Delta is soon to follow. So that concludes my analysis on the various airlines. Do you guys think that the 747 could still fly for a little bit longer with British Airways opting to keep theirs in the air for another seven years, uh, the Qantas ER variant still could be flying well into the mid-2020s. By then, we may see another double-decker aircraft introduced, although it is highly unlikely. Some airlines like Emirates might be looking for something like that, so you never really know. Thank you very much for watching another video of mine. Leave a like if you enjoyed, um, and thank you all very much for the support. Peace.